What's up, guys? How's it going? What's going on? <clears throat> How's it going? Once again, guys, I'm just updating my settings. <laughs> I hope you found found it useful. Was it going? This was a surprise. I wasn't planning to do a live, but I was like, maybe I should do for one hour and then go out. Let's see if we can catch more people before I start. I want to work on this character, this guy. This guy is my, my test case now. I'm doing everything on this guy. Let me actually find some interesting music. Can you guys hear me well? Is it clear? If you want to invite, invite more people, let's do some stuff together. Let's do some work together. Twelve people watching. I need more. Come on. Let's do more. That's great. All right. Um, just trying to find some music so I can work for an hour, answer some questions. <coughs> Hold on a second. Is the video clear? The quality is good. <laughs> Azim, what's going on, man? <laughs> what's up, Peter? What's up, Parham? X Y Z X Y A B C S. That's a good name. It's just hard to say. So, <clears throat> ambient. let's put some music. One, two, three. All right, well, this is good. No. Great. Quality is important. So I want you guys to enjoy while I'm while I'm doing these lives and videos. If the quality is bad, I shouldn't do it, but it looks good. Alright, let's go. Romel, how's it going, man? You should join me, man. Do you want to join me? I don't know what you're doing. We can chat and work and have fun. I was just texturing this guy the other night. Let's play some rock and roll. Well, you know, I need to be careful with the um, with YouTube. Um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, copyright. So I cannot just play everything. I need to be, care be careful what I'm playing. 17 people watching. I'm just waiting a, a bit more just for more people. So. Do you guys have any questions about texturing? I'm actually releasing a video about um, how I paint, actually bake this guy. Let me actually show you guys 
the baking, the quality of the baking on this guy. Because I had many questions about how to bake maps. So right now I'm texturing his face. And this is the normal map. Everything is baked, baked in Substance Painter. I mean, people were, people were telling me that they have issues with artifacts between fingers and different areas. There is a, there is this artifact here, but we won't see that. It's fine. But it looks good overall. Like the bake is clean. I'm happy with it. It's shippable. I'm just working on the face texture at this point. <clears throat> so let's see. Let's look at the layers. I need to fresh, refresh my mind. It's the morning. I don't know where I left on this guy. I'm gonna look at his face quickly. And do you guys have any questions? Would love, man. Just winding up a few projects, then we'll definitely join. Oh, cool, cool, Romel. I'm gonna do this for for one hour, one hour and a half, and then I'm gonna go out, have fun a bit. Like it's been a while that I haven't done anything outside the house. <clears throat> so. I'm going to show you guys what I did on this guy, on the textures. Everything is done in Painter, I baked everything in Painter. I'm going to release the painting, uh, the baking video like this week. Have you ever thought about having a rookie 3D artist on the podcast and tackling subjects like productivity and discipline with someone that's currently going through it all? Uh, Peter, I don't know if you can send me an example, like a name or something. So I'm not sure exactly what you mean. Let me actually search. Hold on a second. I'm trying to grow the podcast. So if you guys have any ideas, just send it over. I'm definitely open to ideas and suggestions to make it better for you guys to watch. Oh, I see what you mean. The rookies. Yes. I need to check it out. I need to have more information. Uh, the high risk model was actually, let me open my, I'll show you guys. Um, it's pretty high. So, uh, I'm doing a tutorial. I want to release that. I want to keep it as a surprise so you can watch the tutorial. And cause I explain everything there. Usually when I do live, it's going to take time, like an hour, an hour and a half. And it's, it's hard for people to watch everything to get the idea about how to bake clean, but I'll show you just, um, my high res. I usually export the high-res from ZBrush to Maya and then, and then export everything from Maya to Substance Painter to bake. So if you give me a second, I'm going to show you what I have here. Maya is opening. <clears throat> so right now, um, if I look at the texture, the face is kind of there. I mean, it's roughly looking good for what I'm, what I'm looking for. I need to fix these areas. Uh, but sometimes it doesn't matter really. It depends on where the focus is on the character. So the back is kind of not looking good. So what I will do, because I baked everything, I'll explain about the, actually turn on this. So I'm going to turn off my layers to show you guys what I have here. Thank you, Georgie. Thanks a lot. Nice of you. I'm gonna hold on a second. Let me load my model as well so you guys can see what I have. All right, it's loading now. Okay. Do you guys have any questions? Quality is good. All right. So this is the the Maya scene. And this is the high res model. This is the low res actually. I mean, when I said low res, it's like 280,000 polygons. Okay. And everything is not centered. I, I'll, I, I'm gonna fix it at the end, so come on. It's heavy. So the layers that I have here right now on the face, this is nothing for now. I need to work on that. It's a bit heavy, so if you guys bear with me, I'm gonna show you everything. I think I need to remove this layer. Not sure what this is. Yeah, I can remove that or I can keep it. It doesn't matter. It's adding some, some dirt to the, 
uh, cracks basically. Yeah, I can keep that layer. Let's do this. What is this layer? I don't need that, I think. I don't need that. It's okay. I mean, do you guys have any questions? So my process for ba um, texturing is basically, I have a UDIM on this character, right? I mean, I need to play with the UDIM. This is the high res, by the way. I exported from Maya. It's um, display. Let me show you how many polygons are there. Heads up display. Poly count. So the high res is like, right now it's decimated 27 million polygons. Uh, the lower is, is 270,000, 73,000 polygons, so it's like 1% um, of the um, high res basically. Uh, and then, I mean, you can see the low res. I actually give some detailed information on my, um, what do you call it, um, the tutorial that I just recorded th this week. I'm going to put it together today, end of the day or tomorrow and release it this week or next week, depending on what I can finish. Uh, the explanation and uh, basically editing the video so as you guys can see I mean if you guys watch my other lives about this character I did some of these geometries in, in ZBrush even the ropes I made them in ZBrush using ZRemesher okay um, these are all ZRemesher I don't want to spend time on things that doesn't matter these are ZRemesher you can actually get good results I mean and I wanted to keep them kind of high quality because I wanted to get this result um, basically if I render this you'll see what I mean right now in space I wanted everything to look round and nice right I mean this one doesn't have any displacement it's just normal map and looks pretty good um, <clears throat> do you check in marmosets sometimes as you're texturing I don't check in marmoset I want to check put this guy probably in subs uh, in unreal, unreal engine so I'm, I'm testing with iray because I feel like I mean, iRay is giving me a better result, um, and it's quick, right? I mean, I mean, I can quickly like test my uh, textures and everything, and then um, render it quickly. And then, if the result is good here, then it's going to look good um, in Unreal Engine. So, the layers that I have is basically I export a simple map. This is a painted map in ZBrush, so that's a poly paint, okay? And I have a very basic. Um, base map from um, like a scanned um, model right I mean you can go to 1024 website um, if I can find a 3d scan store and you can get a scan from here I actually use one of these for the base of the color just to have like some base color you know but it doesn't it's not there anymore like I painted on top of it just very very simple paint right I mean there's nothing fancy about it because I want to have just just some idea like landmarks and where I mean dark areas and some stuff because I like to see my character with with colors in painter in ZBrush and then I'm adding stuff as you can see different layers of um, I mean you can see what I'm doing here this is based on uh, occlusion map and I have uh, masks here to use any pre-made materials from substance, substance painter source um, right now for this guy I'm actually using um, smart materials and everything else is actually it doesn't have any smart material except on the leather area right the, the face doesn't have any smart everything is painting like I'm painting everything so uh, as you can see <clears throat> I mean you can see I'm turning on the layers one by one so you can see what I have skin right you see i mean for the skin layer i'll show you what i have here there's like it's interesting look at that you see that bump that's a procedural map so what i'll do is i just have a colored um basically i don't know what i did with my texture tab oh come on i think i closed it Um, hold on a second. Oh, 
Oops, come on. here let me move this here just to make it easier to to see um, let me answer some questions quickly do you use any pre-made materials so yeah I mean <clears throat> this is the skin right I mean look at that and I have color height and roughness right and then uh, under this skin I have some paint because I want to mask some areas like I don't want to have that noise on the lips right I mean I might actually keep it it's not bad it looks good and then um, I have level to basically invert the map and I have a cell, cellular, cellular uh, like it's a cell one um, procedural map. So, cause I wanted to mimic the details of the skin. I might actually have to make this more high resolution. Oh, it's 4K already, it's 4K. So the face is 4K right now. Uh, what is the poly count limit for current RA? I mean, the poly count limit depends on, I mean, for low poly characters or any low poly asset, everything depends on the type of the game and the way that they manage memory. So it's hard to say, like some characters could be like 400,000 polygons. Even on PS4, we had, we had characters like 300,000 polygons. It depends on the complexity of the character. When do you when you export the model out of Maya into Substance Painter? What format do you usually export it in, and is there a reason? I export FBX, but you know, actually, Caveman Dungeon. Um, I'm having. I'm. I'm actually. Uh, I made a tutorial about how to basically bake maps in Substance Painter, and I explained in that one everything. So. I'm going to work on it and finish it by this weekend, like basically today maybe or tomorrow, which is Monday, end of the day. And then I'll pro probably I'll release it this week or next week. So I think I'm going to release it this week, actually. I scheduled it for this week. I will explain everything there. I want I want to kind of like have everything packed into um, one tutorial, like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, so everyone can watch. But I export FX because it's easier. Uh, and I found, found it like... Um, I don't know. It's easier, just maybe it's a habit that I have. Um, so these are my layers so far, lips. As you can see, this is just, uh, maybe I should add, this is just a gloss map. Maybe I should add more of it. Brushes, I'm just gonna select one, one brush and just paint it. I think this is a little bit too much, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a fill layer and then get into the mask and the fill layer. I'm going to choose the face cavity map, curvature, sorry, curvature. Let me find the face curvature, this one. So if I use that, then it's going. It's not going to have any sort of, um, all right. And then I'm gonna have the paint and then I'm going to basically Make everything. Uh, actually, hold on a second. I need to remove that paint. Add another layer. Then I'm going to use this to remove the areas that I don't want to have any sort of. I can go to this view as well. Uh, 
Do you guys see what I'm doing? I'm using curvature to basically um, remove the specular from the cracks between the lips, right? <clears throat> Thanks, Mel. Is this for animation or video games? I'm actually making this for a personal project. Uh, it's a real-time character. It's a real-time character. It's meant to be for games. I'll show you now. Just give me a second. Let me actually clean this up, and then I'm going to show you how it looks in inside um, iRay when I render it with Substance Painter. Maybe I should choose another brush. Sometimes these brushes are kind of hard to use. I just need to... Texturing is fun when you can see the, the render, the result immediately. That's why I kind of like to test with iRay. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go to the view. Uh, and then paint, I can just reduce the maybe fill layer should be less. Like that. You guys see what I'm doing, right? When you when you texture paint the texture, just be patient, you know? If you rush it, you won't be able to do a good job. Just be patient. That looks pretty good. Um let me actually turn on other layers so we can see everything together. Which one is that? I kind of don't like the effect of this one on the lips. I'm going to turn it off. Double normal. I'm going to turn it off. Let's go back. I have some brighter spots on the face as you can see. All right. When you decimate your high poly for baking, what's your criteria, I mean, for poly count? Uh, I just decimate it uh, up to a point that it's usable, right? So I can export it into Maya. And basically, um, I want to make sure that I, I can export it and use it, right? I mean, I, as long as the, the details are not gone, as long as um, the details are there, I mean, like, oh, let me show you actually. Looking at this one, so you can see these are decimated geometries, but the details are there. So, I mean, I'm fine with this. The rest of it will be texturing. So, I mean, right now this body, I think it's 3 million polygons or something like that or more. Let me see. I'm just selecting it. Give me a second. And you can see how many polygons I have. So, uh, this one is 10 million polygons. My criteria is basically quality, right? So. As long as my computer can handle it and applications can support it, um, I just go with it like, um, I mean, as high res as possible, basically, if that makes sense. When you decimate, okay. <clears throat> if you have any other questions, you guys can ask now. I want to try to see if I can apply a different, um, um, basically, specular to the rest of the face but this is too much i'm not sure why this is adding colors to it that's kind of strange uh yes it is not as strange actually i don't want this so that's the specular i can maybe add some color as well it's not bad Um, and the specular is too much on this guy, so I need to reduce the fill layer. No, not this one, sorry. I'm gonna remove that. I don't need that. 
I can add a paint and then I can just take I kind of like to separate the lips and the rest of the face is specular, you know. X, Y, Z, X, Y. Thank you so much, dude. For now, but try. thank you so much for your awesome channel. One of my favorites. I watch a lot of podcasts and sometimes I think, damn, I wish this was a Siamak episode instead. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> Um, if you guys have any artists in mind that you want me to talk to, interview, and, you know, I would definitely ask them. I have really some really good guests um, that want to join and, you know, um, plan is basically to provide value information, right? I mean, help the community. Um, I, I know how it feels like to be in a hard situation to grow as an artist, right? I mean... If we don't help each other, then uh, we won't grow. Very nice of you, XYZ. What is your name? I don't know if you want to say your name. I think he said he doesn't prefer Marmoset because then he would have to export all the maps. Uh, who is asking about Marmoset? Uh, have you tried baking? Oh, sorry, dumb, dumb C. Um, I didn't try Marmoset, but I have heard a lot about it. I'm going to try it. Um, the thing is, like, I baked everything on this guy in here in Substance Painter, right? I mean, this is much easier for me to bake everything here and see the results immediately and start working on it. That's why I'm not using Substance Painter. And for every production that I'm doing, I'm using, uh, sorry, I'm not using Marmoset Toolbag. But for every game that I'm working on, I use Substance Painter. It's pretty good. I don't know. I mean, um, it's saving a lot of time. I don't want to, like, export maps from you know, from another application to Painter and waste time. It's all about like saving time and doing quality content at the same time, you know? So uh, this is what's important to me. So right now I'm just trying to find a balance for the face. What I'm doing now is if I can get the face correct, I can use that and you make it as a smart material and use it for the rest of the body. In Substance Painter, if my high-res is more than 2 million polygons and my piece is powerful enough, I don't know what's the problem. Can you send me the error, Parham? Just copy-paste or take a, take a picture of it. I don't know if you guys are in my Discord group. Do you guys have the Discord group? This group here? That's Vidali. Let me actually answer Vitali quickly. So if you guys can get into my Discord group, um, let me send you the link for everyone who wants to join. Uh, I beg normals. Let me see. Let me. Sorry, guys. I need to catch up. I think Marmoset gives me more flexible workflow when it comes to baking. I mean, depends on what you want to do, right? I don't like to complicate my workflow. So if I can bake in um, Substance Painter and get good results, that's fine. I mean, I'm not really like into like complicating workflow so if you guys feel like a marmoset is doing a good job then i guess we should use marmoset but i'm i'm definitely going to try marmoset for baking and the rest of the which one hdri you use in substance paint it's to have such a to have as much as possible naturally i mean i try different different lighting so here's the thing um when i test my character with uh eye ray look at this actually let me let me quickly fixes um, um, the specular because it's kind of bothering me and then I'll explain what I'll do for roughness this one is a bit harsh
Okay, that's good. This one is a bit too much. So I try different lighting, right? I mean, um, let me fix this thing quickly because it's kind of messing up with my brain. Normal. Actually, this is roughness, not normal. Sorry, height map. Kind of need to have some sort of different... These are the details that I haven't done in ZBrush, so I'm just using a map here to make it cool inside Painter, you know, add some extra details. Um, it's using the curvature map here. I'm using a curvature map. This is like, I have a layer of paint. As you can see, I just paint different colors and the skin variation, skin tones, right? Um, I'm gonna answer the question about lighting and HDR maps. So the thing that you need to keep in mind when you work for games or your personal project, you shouldn't stick to one lighting, okay? You need to test your character under different lighting conditions. So because of that, you need to use different, like multiple, lights and test your character to see how it looks okay i feel like right now he has too much oil on his face i need to reduce this more i might actually remove this one i just need like a tiny kind of 10 maybe that's better. Um, so I just rendered it with iRay quickly. Um, yes, I'm gonna bring Vitaly. I spoke to him. Well, he has a bunch of other interviews. Did you guys check the one that he did um, on um, last night with uh, Gracity? That one is a good one, actually. I was watching it. Vitaly is an awesome dude. He is one of the best people that I know. Inspiring. Talented, humble, everything. <laughs> Bring Vitaly for an interview. I'll definitely do that. Um, guys, XYZ, XYAB, CS donated, but I don't know his name. So can you say what is your name? Or he, Super Chat, not donation, but he used Super Chat. He paid $10. Thanks, dude. That's nice of you. Uh, so I think Marble said, Let me, let me read some comments. I beg normals, AOs, and curvature. Marble said, Uh, the rest is in substance. I bake everything in Painter because I want to get quick results. Which one? HDRI. I'm going to explain about the HDR right now. Use any studio lighting, it's no color added. Uh, I'll send you a, on Instagram or, yeah, you can send it to me on Discord. If you guys are not on my Discord, just check it out. I have Discord. Yeah. Do you usually work in the, in the dark room? I don't know. Like my room is dark, yes, because I painted the the, the walls dark. But I, I just turn off the lights right now because it's easier to focus on the monitor. Uh, you can see. Is it too dark? It's not too dark. It's okay. I have the curtain open there, so it's not bad. That's good. It is good. Any chance you will ever bring Anthony Jones on your... Anthony Jones, let me actually check who's to see. The name is familiar. I think I've seen his work. Yeah, I have seen his work. I'm gonna follow him. I'm gonna message him. I'm gonna message him. Yeah, his work is great. Yeah, such a great work, this guy. He's amazing. Thanks for saying it, dude. Um, caveman. I'm gonna message him and see if I can bring him in. I wanna have really good people, good artists. Do you think that it's worth to spend time on a sculpting in clay additional to... Uh, I think it's worth it, yeah. I mean, I tried additional I tried additional sculpting. I actually did one head, but you know, it's kind of... Um, you have to create a mess, right? So. Um, 
I didn't continue because I want to like pursue different things and I, I need time on other stuff. So, but it's, I, I had recommended like, um, even like Vitaly says the same, like he says, if you want to, he says sketching is good for this learning how to design, but traditional sculpting gives you a different vision on, on character art, right? So anything, anything traditional to me is good if you have the time. So I'm going to try to copy everything here and test it on my, on the other parts of the character. Let's see, uh, build body front. Let's check it on this part. So I'm going to remove everything up to this point. I think that's the front part of the body. Can you describe the process for the skin texture? Uh, yeah, I'm going to explain to you now a bit. I don't know if you saw my layers. Come on. All right, so I will keep that. I'll delete the rest. Because this guy is not a human being, um, I'm trying to basically Look at that, that's a face texture on this guy. <laughs> All right, so I have a base texture, which I painted in Substance Painter, which is this one, okay. And then on top of that, I start adding uh, layers. Let me actually try this quickly. Uh, all right, everything is off. Let's go one by one. This is the skin. skin color. I don't know why this one is like that, but I just select the brush. I don't have anything customized or anything weird. Hey, Matt, game show is a great teacher seeing you to talk about art industry and hot. Yeah, I'll do that, Kevin. I'm going to message him and see if he would be interested to join. Would you please bring local? Yes, I I'll I'll message you about that. So, what kind of questions, like if I ask Glauco to come in, what kind of questions do you guys have from him? Glauco, they're saying I should bring you in. Let's do it, man. I have a style as character artist, like... I mean, I would like to bring anyone, like you guys can... If you guys on di are on Discord, can you just send me your recommendations? Because there are so many good artists, like, um, it would be good to have some recommendation. I'm actually going to make a list now. I would definitely... Actually, uh, I don't know if you saw that episode with Danny Williams. Yeah. Um, Peter, did you see the one with Danny Williams, Point Pusher? If you didn't see that one, check it out because he's a stylized artist, right? He's different. And I'm not only focused on artists. Um, for now, I'm asking character artists, concept artists, and other people to join, but I'll definitely have um, other side of the industry as well. Yeah, these are good recommendations. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask these guys. Lots of good recommendations. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to have guys from NVIDIA and um, basically different studios i know you're you do realistic but it would be nice to yeah i can i actually did a stylized character in the past so i can do it that's not a problem uh but if you haven't watched the the, the episode with um let me show you go to my youtube channel all right and then check this episode Hold on a second. Politics. Check the one with Danny Williams. And 
if you haven't watched this one make sure to check it out this one is really good guys i'll put the link in the chat right now all right that's one is stylized for you guys uh i know thank you for your content you're doing great job Bella the mirror, I'm just reading your comment. Is there a way to track your streams? Are you planning to create a personal course? Any I have a personal course. You haven't seen my workshop, my mentorship, Vladimir. Uh I have per just if you're on, on my Discord, Vladimir, let me actually send you my Discord. Hold on a second. Discord. I'm gonna send a Discord link in the group. So you guys can join those who have don't I mean are not in the Discord group and message me there if you have any inquiries about other things, business, workshop, mentorship, whatever you want to call it. I don't do workshops, I do mentorships, which is different than workshop. It's actually more productive to me. Um, I'll teach you how to do everything and basically guide you. <clears throat> so that's the link. Um, do you guys see that Discord link? Cool. Um, I saw you doing a workshop for Vertex at school. That character are. Uh, that's. I'm not specifically making a character. I'm just teaching techniques and things like that. So, um, I wouldn't be able to make a character in the workshop. So, I mean, mentorships are different because they're longer. I would be able to do it. You're welcome, Vladimir. But um, for for like a workshop like that, I wouldn't be able to make a full character. It takes time to make a full character. So as you guys can see, I'm just checking the layers one by one and then I'm going to skin, skin pores. I might actually have to increase the... No. Hey, Salim, what's up, dude? <laughs> You're here too. How's it going, man? How's it going, brother? How's it going, good Salim? Uh, I need to do something here. And just make sure the specular is matching roughness. All right, it's fine. Uh, Ayo. I don't know what this does. I might have to remove this one. Yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna. I don't need that. Uh, have you guys tried the new substance painter uh, basically painting across udims dude thanks for joining man um i don't need this one So, right now I need to, I need to fix that area. 
What is that? I don't know what this is doing. I think I need to... Okay, so... Actually, let me remove everything. Oh, this is the one. Okay. This one is doing nothing. All right, let's fix that. Oops. All right, paint. I'm just gonna try to, I wanna keep the front part of the body kind of like light, not so dark. So I'm gonna remove some of these details and blend it up to here, like kind of like Can you recall this time when you 3D printed a character for the first time? That was 2004, 2005. I didn't do it myself, but uh, I did a character for a company called First for Figure, First for Figures, and then they were starting to make collectibles. So that's back in 2004, 2005. Long time ago, man. Long time ago. Before I go further, let me actually look at this to see if it's working or not. I need to adjust the spec here. There's like too much spec. Looks like oil right now. But I'll fix that. It's not a problem. So for the. Um, you can use different lightings. That's it's a very good practice to do. Like um, check your character under different different uh, lightings. Like there's like really good options here that you can check to see how it looks under different lighting condition. This one is cool. I like this one a lot. Look at that. Really awesome. <laughs> Let me play the music. Maybe I should change the music. This is hard to manage and <laughs> play music, answer the chats, paint some textures, everything at the same time. All right, let me see. What do you think of Substance and Mari when it comes to organic shapes for hard surface? I mean, I'm using Substance right now to texture this character, right? No, don't overwrite. Uh, so it, it's good. I, I don't have any problems with it. It looks pretty good. It works fine. It works pretty good. The thing is, if you want to paint maps by hand, um, I haven't used Mari for a long time, so I need to get back to it. But if you hand paint your textures, I mean, Substance is doing a good, I mean, you can do a good job with Substance, substance Painter, so um, it's fine, it's good. Let me actually play another music. Oh, 
come on. This one. All right, let's get back to it. Not in my opinion. I mean, I think you can use a uh, Substance Painter for CGI workflow at this point, to be honest with you. I don't see why you cannot. But uh, Mari is obviously it's different. It's a different beast, so I wouldn't uh, say like it's... I don't know, it's good. You can use both. Right now I'm just painting in Painter, right? I mean, no other applications. Did XYZ left the guy that donated, the guy that used the super chat, I never got his name. Oh weird, hold on a second. Sorry, my screen was switched. Just hold on a second, guys. I need to remove the shortcuts from this application. Just hold on a second. should be good. <clears throat> yeah, I wish I got his name. guys this is what I want to do the only problem right now is this guy has too much specular in his body so I need to fix that first let's see roughness skin to make a layer to fix this don't need that don't need that okay let's look at the Actually, let's look at different roughness maps. Okay, that might not be necessary.
I think at the end I'm gonna add a layer for roughness. <sighs> Sometimes didn't have the full UDM support. Yeah, I mean it's, it's a new feature they just added. Hope nobody asked it before what type of what what was texture pull for go uh I wouldn't specifically talk about that. I don't know what I can say about that game. I mean, forget about the terms, man. <laughs> People have different terms in different studios. It doesn't matter. I create a realistic eye for the game characters. Um, there's actually, um, if you open Unreal Engine, there is um, there's a character that you can download uh, from Unreal Store. It's for free. Digital mic or something like that. That one has all the shaders and everything related to, to eyes, the skin, and everything. So if you just reverse engineer that, look at it, and you'll figure out how to basically um, make shaders for eyes inside Unreal Engine. It's not really that complicated. It's just, I don't know, like you need to look at that and use it as a reference. For texturing a substance painter, UV eye lines, rotations. I actually keep everything from top to bottom, so rotation is always top to bottom. Like basically, um, let me show you. If I have this character, this section of the, the the armor, this is the top part. This is the this is the bottom part. So let me show you. Look at that. You see? So the direction is always I'm I'm almost always doing it from top to bottom. I don't like, for example, I don't take this and rotate it to this direction to fit in the UV. Everything goes to the, uh, towards the same direction, so it's actually important. It makes it easier to work that way. <clears throat> I want to make a nice roughness for this guy, so maybe, maybe I should use the curvature. guys have any questions how many UV sets do you use when making a modern full a i mean depends on the character this one has a lot not a lot it has um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten twenty twenty two that's okay twenty two twenty five that's not bad i mean every studio is different i'm doing this as a personal project but even if you work in a studio sometimes you can go to twenty five 26, 28, it doesn't matter. It's just about like um, how well they manage the memory, right? If they have a good memory management, then it's easy to add more textures and more sh more shaders. You mentioned making UVs from top to bottom. In what situation would have them? I wouldn't have them mixed. Um, so everything is directional, right? So the top of the shoulder is here. The bottom of the shoulder is here. So again, it's the same thing, top to bottom. This is the same. You just go based on the direction. Okay? Direction. 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 I mean, in case of hands, for example, uh, let me show you something quickly. So his hands, I mean, it's it's, it's the other way. It's, it's not that important because it's the skin and um, it's actually important. I might actually ro rotate this because everything is top to bottom. These, uh, I mean, his hands and his feet are not, but that doesn't matter. I can rotate it later, so it's not a problem. Uh, but yeah, I mean, everything is top to bottom. 
I actually don't know why. I think this this was a mistake that I didn't rotate it properly. Even his teeth, his uh, inside the mouth, his tongue, less scared. Everything is top to bottom. Uh, teeth, these are the teeth, right? So I keep the direction the same for everything. You mentioned making gillies. I need to save this, guys. Let me actually save this quickly. I'll answer some questions while this is saving. It's going to take a bit. I'm going to answer some questions. If I don't have them top to bottom, you said it matters. Um, Sometimes when you make a shirt uh, for the sleeves, uh, you might want to do it from left to right or right to left. It doesn't matter because if the pattern of the shirt is going from top to bottom and then the sleeves are going from left to right, uh, then at that point we can, you can put the sleeves on a different direction. So you can use one texture for everything, if that makes sense. But this guy doesn't have a shirt. It's just like separate pieces. Um, that's why, unless if you have the sleeves as a separate shader on the shirt, then at that point you can also do that one top to bottom because you can rotate the direction of the the maps in the engine or in substance substance painter um thanks marco very nice of you whatever the texture sets are right now it's at 4k i'm just looking at it uh, 4k but i might export it at 2048 uh, it's a heavy scene as you can see i'm, I'm trying to save it it takes time to save I need to play another music. Okay, this is safe. Let me actually quickly take a look at the render. I think the specular is still too much. Yeah, so done. No class today. You guys take a rest. I need a little rest. Practice, and then we'll get back to it next week again. Oh, um, how much RAM do you have? Right now I have 32 gig. It's working fine. I never needed more than that. I don't know why. It's always working fine. Um, and I'm using iRay, it's rendering fine. There's no problem. Let me actually play another music. You're welcome, Vladimir. Ten years younger and have more time to work on their portfolio. Let me read. Hold on a second. What would you give the, to a person? What well, advice to give to a person? What is in his? I think Vladimir, you just need to focus on yourself and do good art as much as you can, learn as much as you can, that's the key. Uh, and then don't plan for the next year, or next two years. S slowly use a compound effect, practice, practice, and don't give up, you know. It's gonna take you time, but if you keep going, I, I can tell you, like if you work hard in, I don't know, like five years, six years, eight years, you will see better results, you know. So the key is like to keep going and never giving up. If that makes sense. And and by the way, you don't have to compete with anyone. There is no competition. It's just you. You're competing with yourself. Just make sure you're uh, focusing your energy on what matters and forget about everyone else and forget about everything else. That's what you need to do if you want to be successful at it. Uh, 
CPU, I have a uh, Core i7-8700, 8, 8, if I remember correctly. I bought this computer like back in 2018. Hey, Omid, thank you, man. So it's not a new computer. Substance is playing with me. I just had a layer of... Come on. What happened to that layer? Oh, it's here. I need to... to do the same thing for the neck for for the face on the specular side <sighs> mm. guys I have a lot of questions it's hard to work and answer <laughs> have you ever, ever had it throughout period in your artistic career when you felt Yes, I had that. Last year was like that, and then I changed it. Now I'm actually very motivated. I didn't want to do anything because I wasn't doing the things that I wanted to do. Now I'm doing the things that I want to do, so it's all about that. Like, you focus on yourself, do the things you want to do, and you, you grow, so... Um, that happens to everyone, I guess. One more question. How, how much time you can complete such character if you have to make it for a client? I mean, it depends. Um, depends really, I mean, it's a hard question because clients are giving you feedback no matter what you do. Um, depends, like average a character would, I would say two months to six months. Sometimes it could take six months. Like they come back, they change a lot, they change a lot, right? Um, if it's a key character, but usually the average is like three months. That, that, that That's what I would say, two, three months. Do you substance make it for all your characters? At this point, yes. I mean, it depends on the character, but right now I'm using it for all of my characters, yes. Because uh, I can do everything in Painter. It's easier, it's faster. Um, let me quickly update this because... For some reason, this is not matching to the body. And this shouldn't happen, basically. I need to double check that something is, is not right. also 4k I want to make sure the specular is it should match to the body but it doesn't match right now I don't like that line
Sorry guys, let me actually fix this. I might actually redo this part. Do you have any, any healthy issues because of sitting behind the computer all the time? No, I don't have any health issues. I actually do other stuff as well. I don't I don't only sit in front of computer. Uh this one has 22 materials. Come on, painter. Let's fix this quickly. I might actually, you know what? I'm going to copy paste everything again and do the body again. Let me try something quickly. Oops. It's a little slow because it's heavy. I need to maybe switch to 2048 to just make it faster. I'm gonna put this in a layer for now and hide everything. I want to problem solve, find out what did I did did I do wrong that is messing up the body? Interesting. Okay, now it's matching. Okay, I think I messed up something on that other. It's hard to talk and. I'm gonna check your questions. Give me a second, guys. Yes, I cannot fix this anymore. Uh, I need to do it again. I messed it up. I like that white version. Um, are you in credit for Ghost of Tsushima? I am in the credit, but not in the right place. <laughs> they just put me in additional art because <laughs> I left last year. It's kind of a bad practice the studios are doing. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't care. What's the recommended material quality, uh, quantity for a hero asset in every game? Um, again, that's a 
Good question, because it depends on the number of uh, geometries that you have on a character, right? This one has 22. So if he had more stuff, maybe I would add more. So, I mean, it depends on a lot of things. 22, 25 could go more. Depends on if the character is going to be customized. My PC spec is just about it like three years ago. It's CPU is, I just over, I basically overclocked it. It's a um, 8700 8, uh, i7 Intel and 1080 Ti GTX graphics card and nothing crazy to be honest with you. 32 gig of RAM, that's it. Is that the mean? Let me see. Yeah, that's the same music. All right, let me let me quickly focus on this, guys. I need to fix this thing. I don't know why my materials are looking like that. I'm gonna use this one. It's okay. Let's get the color. I'm just gonna make layers, skin, uh, detail. Put these two in a in a layer. I'm painting the skin again. I'm gonna check your questions, guys. Are you in the, yeah, uh, for the answers, materials are a big concern in terms of optimization. Lenar, welcome. <sighs> materials, I honestly, I never had any issues with it. Mm, I don't think it will be a concern when you go to PS5. So, I mean, limitations are there's no limitations really anymore. Honestly, with, to be honest with you, like the games are becoming more. Uh, I mean, computers are becoming more powerful, powerful engines are becoming more powerful, so I wouldn't worry too much about um, that kind of stuff, like the technical side. There's always a solution for something, you know? Checking the specular gloss, okay. So now I need to fix the gloss on this guy, because right now it looks too glossy. Actually, let me fix this quickly. Uh, paint. Oh, come on. Site. 
I need to fix the specular now. Let me quickly... I don't need that. What is this doing? Oh, okay. Uh, cavity. This is not doing anything. I want to remove it. Remove it. These are the skin tones. Base color. In any case, poly counts shouldn't limit in, in the portfolio of Yes, talking about Unreal Engine 5, you can basically texture any size. Well, Unreal Engine 5, I wouldn't say say that. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll need to wait and see what will happen. So, guys, I'm going to stay up for another 10 minutes and, and answer some questions if you have more questions. Actually, you know what, I need to group these two. That's the AO, I don't need that. I can actually keep this for now. Just remove some of these from the top. Did I answer any, any other questions? Fix the roughness. Gonna remove that. It's getting there now. Okay, 
I'm gonna use the same roughness for the face. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to figure out two sections at the same time, balance it, and then I'm gonna use the same thing all over the body quickly and finish it. So I'm trying to problem solve it here first and then uh, use that for the rest of the body. So I'm gonna group everything here on the head. All right, I need to separate the lips. Because I want the specular on the lips. White mask. Paint. When you guys work, make sure to name everything properly so you don't have to work like me, you know. Uh, inside the mouth should be... Roughness should be completely white. Uh, black, sorry. Like that, maybe. Uh, white. I think the roughness is a bit um, too. Too dry, I would say. I think that's a better balance. Uh. So I'm going to put it on to mix it with the rest of the body so let me copy this put it on the body front part this should do a good job let's check it out Well, that's weird, still too much. Would you say that the games in the game industry is a very competitive industry? No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I mean, it depends. It's, it's fine. Um, I actually think that there, there aren't enough artists in the game industry. The only problem is like people don't um, know their value and it's actually like competition is like the race to the bottom if there's competition you know like companies are, like Nvidia or um, tech companies are hiring artists with the artists with a good good salary but when it comes to game industry people are not actually aware how much they can charge and that's a problem So this scene is good. I just need to make some final adjustments on this section. I want to hide this seam line.
Actually, I need to fix the back part of his body as well. Well, it's coming out together nicely. What do you guys think? Let me save it quickly. Saving now. I will continue these live, live streams maybe next week, maybe on weekends. Do you guys have any questions? Because I have to leave now. Um, just waiting for this to save and um, double check the, you know, uh, basically take a look at the render in our iRay and then leave. Did I miss any questions? Uh, I think the specular is still too high, but I need to adjust it, um, add some roughness. I want his skin to look rough and, and all that, like, a, like an elephant skin. But I want to have some specular. Let me actually do one more adjustment before I leave. So I'm going to get to the roughness. I'll pass it twice. I'm just going to wait a bit more. I don't know about Ubisoft, but dude, salaries go up. Like a senior character artist, you can go up to... Depends, like what you do, right? I mean, um, 100... Depends on where you, where, where, where you live. Starts with 110k in US up to 190, 195, whatever. Depends on what you do, the quality of your work, and a lot of other things. How many times? You mean how much time do I spend for texturing? Uh, this guy, because I'm painting, it's going to take, I don't know. I, so far, I spent one night on it, like maybe five hours. And then now I'm, I'm spending an, an hour and a half. And then I'll do some more work tonight. I think I can texture this guy in, in a week on and off, you know, doing some work here and there. So, one week should be a good good amount. Yeah, actually, maybe I should invert this. That's better now. I can see the details. Yeah, that's the way to go. Now I just need a noise on top of that. All right. Thanks, Pedro. Thanks, Diego. You're welcome. I actually figured out, you know, when I work, I actually think a lot, like I'm not rushing the, the process because I want to uh, come up with ideas, you know, so it's important to not rush your your work i mean time is not time is important but it's important that you do good job quality work that's that's what you should take care of first so this is actually not bad let me actually add one more layer of a specular on top of everything I might actually add roughness and a specular so let's see what we have here on the procedural maps 
I'm going to go to the procedural maps. Large. The, the thing is, when you take sure, every time you see something is wrong, you need to fix it. Like, don't, don't rush it. Just make sure you do a good job, you know. Body paint, you mean tattoos, Martin? Is that what you're referring to? Uh, let's try this. Actually, I need to make a mask, make a fill layer, and then put that in a fill layer. And then do that. That's probably too much. And then I can add add another fill layer and then use another noise. Maybe like that to just um, know that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. Just trying to have some variation on this scheme. You're welcome, Vladimir. I want this guy to be like, I don't know, like rusty, you know. He, he doesn't have a tribe or anything. He's just a random dude in a, in a forest or a cave or something like that. <laughs> Um, usually when you add tattoo that that goes to a tribe or there's a history behind it this is just a random dude in the forest maybe that's what I'm thinking but I might actually add something I mean I don't want to make it too busy to be honest with you it is getting there I just feel like the roughness is still too much So I need to make this less. It's better now. But you guys see how you can use procedural texturing to just add some nice variation to your texture, right? The thing is, when you texture, when, when I texture, this is how I do it. I actually look at it a lot and I'm like visualizing it before I do the next move. I'm not just jumping around and doing a stuff without any direction. So that is an important thing to, to keep in mind, in my opinion. So everyone is different. Some people, ju they just try it fast and they they just change things quick and get to the, res the result. I'm not like that. I try to think before I do anything. And as I said, there's nothing no, nothing wrong with that, but it's just like for me, I want to have, um, I want to basically make myself to work with more, um, a better better thought process, if you, if you know what I mean.
And it's coming together slowly, right? Slowly coming together. Yeah, I'm on a, I might add actually a scars on his body. That's actually one of the things I want to do. Adds a lot of characters to a lot of personality to a character and back his story, you know. But the face looks good. I just need to make the front front of front of the body match the face, like get rid of this line. And what do you guys think about the face? Do you think it's good? It's coming together. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Alright guys. I mean, if you don't have any questions, I'm gonna stop this. I need to go out. I wanna go to the lake, have some fun for today. It's been a while that I haven't done anything, so... Uh, I'm gonna do this more often. I mean, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Share the video, you know, support. And... Uh, I want to send a shout out to XYZ, XYABCS for his super chat. Thanks, dude. I don't know his name, but just thanks to him. And that's it. Cheers, guys. Have a good day. Bye, everyone.